Hello there, welcome to a new video on the channel. In today's video, this is going to be a little bit different than what you normally get on this channel because this is more of a vlog slash just setup revamp video that you don't see on this channel ever. This is going to be the first one that I do along these lines and I do intend to make videos relating to the setup to loads of other different things as well in the future. But what this video is going to be doing is talking about me moving from this room currently. Uh, me, my parents and my girlfriend are going to be moving into a different house where it's a bit big of a room everything like that so i'm going to be revamping the setup i'm also going to be revamping the room so you're going to see the process of us moving from this house designing the new one as we've already got loads of ideas we've already ordered the bed and wardrobe so you're going to see all of that and also designing the desk itself and everything for that what i'm doing though right now is i'm going to show you the room that we're currently in so you can see a before and after for that but also I'm going to show you everything that we've got currently ready for the new setup and what the setup currently looks like. So let's get into this. So to begin with, what I'll do is I'll show you what different things that we have in the room first. Then I'm going to go with what the setup looks like and everything that we've got for the new setup as well. So to begin with, I'm going to show you the wardrobe plus what we've got for the actual bookshelf as well. As you can see, it's a very standard bookshelf, very uh, just wobbly, that sort of thing. It's a Okay, it's lasted a very long time. However, we're possibly going to be getting a new one. We may end up using this one just to begin with, but we may get a new one in the future. You can see a lot of stuff up here, so you can get an idea for the sort of person, you know, that I like books anyway. I like them, however, I haven't read many. This here is basically the books that we I have read. I've got the Game of Thrones book just over that side. And as well, there's a book in here, which is 12 Rules for Life, that I have read. However, I'm going to be rereading it, so it's not actually in this bit. But yes, besides that, you've then got this wardrobe just here, which would work fine however uh, it's you know a little bit too small for both of us as you can see the wardrobe hardly even is open enough for just me to get all my stuff in this is all my clothes as you can see it's literally all rammed in at this point because I've got too much I'm gonna have to get rid of a load of stuff plus as well as that get more stuff for myself there's some bits of my girlfriends but hardly any you've then got in this bottom bit just random shit basically that's the best way of explaining it and then in this bottom drawer we've got some gym stuff plus as well as that we've also got Got some Nintendo 3DS games because you know who doesn't love keeping track of all of their games that they've ever had now next up is just over here this drawer just here is basically what ended up replacing what I used to have all the way in that bottom drawer there which was all of my cables all of my wires everything like that or at least most of them so they're all kind of kept in there currently so that will probably be coming with us and or i'll be replacing where those will get kept in the new place we then got all this stuff just here which is from christmas all that sort of thing so i've got a lord of the rings chest set darth vader to make i've already got one up there however uh, i've then got a batman to make a white house to make uh, which now that i'll have a bigger area to put stuff in possibly we'll be doing that one soon that one there's got some candle bits loads of just uh, little bits you've got baby Yoda, a red panda and a seal over this way though you've now got my tv slash just games hub everything like that so around the back here you've got a ps5 an xbox series x and just in the middle there there is a nintendo switch however all the way at the back i'm not sure if you can see it there is also an apple tv so that will be mounted as well and besides that you've then got the tv itself which is a 55 inch curved samsung tv hello there you can now see me again this one will be also coming with us it'll be mounted on the wall instead of being on this instead this is another bit that will not be coming with us. Basically, everything you've looked at so far will most likely not be with us in the new room anyway. Then you've got this bed, which this bed will not be coming with us as we're getting a double bed. Like I mentioned, we've already ordered a new bed, so this will not be coming with us. There's some stuff in these bottom drawers, however, not important. Now we're on to the main area and the main event that you guys will be here for, which is the setup itself. So I'll give you a proper overview so you can kind of see what you're working with here. Obviously, it's just straight out the window, so it gets very, very, um, let's just say, strenuous on the eyes when you're working here. But this will now give you an overview of basically what I work with. This is about two and a bit meter long desk right here, where over on this right hand side, we'll start with all the juicy stuff, which is my PC. This is a 2070 graphics card with an i7-8700 processor with 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD and a four terabyte hard drive. Now though, what we've got here is the Razer Basilisk, which honestly, I'm in love with. I cannot wait to actually properly use it. I've been using it though recently and it's amazing. Keychron K2 just here as well. Sounds superb and I cannot wait to do videos on keyboards and that sort of thing because I'm really enjoying just watching videos about the hobby, everything like that. 
so I can't wait to customize this keyboard and even eventually hopefully build my own. You may notice as well that I'm still using the wrist rest from the previous keyboard and that is because I can't find a wrist rest to be honest that I like and generally when I take the photo for this thumbnail you just won't see this one here. But this here works perfectly fine for me generally. Don't really see the point in swapping it out even though yes it goes over but I typically type like this so I have my arms at a bit of an angle anyway so it works for me. Behind this though you've then got two Logitech speakers which are both actually really good considering they were only £25 and I would recommend it. I will talk about everything once we actually move house and I show you the finished product. But yes, what we're now going to show you is basically what we've got for the new setup. So underneath here, we've got the 27 inch gaming monitor. It's a 144 hertz monitor and honestly, come not wait to start using it as this one here is a 100 hertz monitor, a bit of a random hertz rate, but it does the job. So it's fine. But most of the stuff is either down here and there's a little bit down here. So what I'm going to show you is what's down here first. One is the new Shure microphone that I'm going to be using for all of my videos as I currently use the Razer Siren first generation mic, which honestly has done me very well. But if you guys haven't heard in previous videos, it does sometimes have a little bit of glitching effects that go on. So I do now really want a new mic. And honestly, now that I really want to actually try hard and do loads of really good quality videos, I thought, why not? Let's go for it. I'm going to do all of this because I want to have a nice looking setup and actually feel great when I'm working on the channel anyway. You've got right here the new microphone and honestly cannot wait to use it. I've tested it just to make sure it actually works. I've tested everything just to make sure it works pretty much. So yeah. But there you go. That is everything that will be basically coming with us to the new setup and this is an overview of how this room looks currently. So yes, I cannot wait to show you what the new room is like. We're getting the keys next week. So I'll go in there that you guys can see what the room will look like and after that we'll then go through basically a uh, 3D website to have a look at what it will look like afterwards as well and then start transferring things over and start building the room and the setup so yeah if that is interesting to you make sure to keep watching this video and yes this will be a bit longer so make sure to sit back and enjoy and grab something to drink i have a cup of tea just over here so you might want to join me in that all right so we're at the new house now i've got my girlfriend recording uh we're just starting the actual painting of the place uh so this wall here is um, i don't really know it, it's it, I don't really know. The paint looks pinky, like really light pink grey, uh, but then it's kind of coming up as like a darker pink purple. I don't know, to be honest. We'll find out once it's actually dried, obviously. Then the rest of the walls are going to be grey. Over here, we're going to have the actual setup. So once that's actually done, we are getting the desk built. So hopefully it will be actually pretty decent. And then we're going to look at hopefully mounting the TV on this wall. Not 100% sure because the wall might not be able to take it. But yeah, we're gonna now just uh, shoot a time lapse of us painting. So yeah, let's get on with this. Alright, so we've done the paint now, uh, mostly anyway. The greys behind us obviously need a second coat. We've gone over this wall just here with a second coat now, so we're gonna let that dry. Obviously, the edging will be done later, um, purely because I didn't want to mess that up right now. Uh, but yeah, most of that's done. Probably gonna have a little bit more added on as like the third coat, um, because even though this does look good now, there's still parts of it which will be just needing touching up. Uh, besides that though, that's basically everything when it comes to actually do doing the room up. Uh, but to give you an idea of one, when we actually get some of the stuff, this corner here is going to be used for the actual desk setup. So what you're going to have is a couple of mounted monitors just all over here. Uh, then my girlfriend's bit is going to be just here where she'll have her eventual iMac when she decides to buy one. Um, in this little cubby hole section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the PlayStation, Xbox, and a Nintendo dock, probably not in there, but on this little stand bit that we're going to be getting here. Basically, all the wiring will then come up the back of the wall and hopefully the TV can then be wall mounted. Uh, we're not 100% sure, we're going to have it tested just to make sure. Uh, hopefully we can. And yeah, that's basically everything. So next part should hopefully be when uh, we get either more coat or paints done or possibly when we get the bed, so yeah. Alrighty, so we've got some of the stuff, not all of it yet. Um, currently we've just got here measured out 
pretty much like how big the wardrobe will be going across. So only be coming out to about here pretty much. So it's not too bad. We've got the bed now, which is nice. As you can see, uh, we've got king sized uh, bedding because um, my girlfriend likes to hog the sheets. Um, that's what I say anyway. She claims I do that the other way around, but uh, I disagree. Now, um, we're considering putting a shelf across here. Obviously, the one main issue is that it's going to be bits. Uh, it's not going to be quite symmetrical. Um, so we might be putting a shelf just across the top here. So we've at least got a little bit of storage or something um, just above the bed. Uh, we're planning to put some shelves in this corner just over here. Um, just because one, I've got a ton of books. Um, Zadie's got a good load of books as well. And uh, yeah, besides that, we're about to start building her vanity table, which will be going just over here. Uh, and as well as that, we're going to build a load of shelves that you'll see in a second, all just here. And then hopefully, very soon, we'll be mounting the TV on this wall. The other good news is that we've just had an email saying that the desktop is being done. So um, we'll be going and getting that at some point this week and then we can start actually making preparation on what you're actually here for more than anything, which is the desk setup. Alrighty, we've built those two now. So you've got this one just here. So the shelves, the TV will be going up here or just a little bit lower. We've then built the vanity table uh, for Zadie. Uh, there you go. So easy enough. Next thing is the wardrobe to go here. Got the bed in like I showed you earlier. And then over in this corner right here will be the setup that everyone wants to see. I cannot wait. And uh, yeah, basically uh, this one should be, uh, the next clip should be the desk, hopefully. Alrighty, since the last time we were in here, uh, a few things have changed, just a few, uh, well, a lot, uh, let's just say. So we brought over a load of stuff now. Um, so for example, over here now, what we've had to do, because we can't mount the TV, we're having to get a bracket in place. So the bottom of the TV will be here, top of the TV will be up there somewhere. Then as you can see, just a load of mess currently. I'm gonna be sorting out a load of the computer stuff besides the monitors today. As you can see, the desk is now in situ. Uh, this bit has now been joined, which is great. It's very nice and smooth, so that's great. And I've put this down already in a few other little bits, but I'm now gonna spend some time and actually kind of put a little bit of the setup together. So that's what you're gonna watch for now. Alrighty, so one of the areas that you can see down here is the power, basically this massive power cable brick. Um, so currently it's having to sit here purely because of you know the actual wire and distance. So I think what I might have to do is get a longer extension cable um, to plug in. Because with this one, it's great. The issue is that I'm then having to daisy chain another one to it for now, um, which I do want to do because this one's got a circuit breaker on it anyway, so if anything was to overload, then it's fine. Um, but currently, um, it seems like it's going to plan. I don't honestly care about the cable management yet, purely because I've got bits coming and that will sort it out. So these just basically sit back in play with one another. So you know, just sit back up there. So yeah, they, they'll just sit back in here. It's really hard to do when you can't actually see what you're doing. There you go, so you guys can see it, and so I can also see it as well. So, there you go. Alrighty, hopefully that'll work as intended. 
This one's a bit off though. <sighs> Okay, as you can see, I've got a lot of it together now. We're obviously, like I mentioned, we're going to be doing the actual uh, wall mounting at some point tomorrow. But I'm now going to just basically set up the microphone. As I've got a new mic, um, I'm going to have to just mess around with where everything will just sit for the moment. Because obviously these two are actually going to be mounted on the wall instead of uh, being sat on the desk. Uh, and then I need to connect everything up to this boom arm. So, let's go. Alrighty, just before I head off, I'll go over what I've kind of done. So there you go, you can see the mic's all done, it's working now. The cable, obviously, don't worry about the cable management just yet, as this is all stuff that will be getting sorted soon enough. Um, as you can see, power brick there, there's a power brick up here. Uh, and then, yeah, everything is looking good. These will be on the wall, so literally the whole mouse mount will be available for everything. I cannot wait to get this entirely sorted. Honestly, this setup will just be great. I cannot wait for it. Okay, so we've done a little bit. Um, by a little bit, again, a fairly decent amount. What I'm going to do is I'm going to charge up the camera so that tomorrow when we're here and we can finish off all the rest of the cable management. But as you can see, uh, basically we've put the TV now in situ. We've had to take off uh, this bit, which was on the bottom of that one just there. Um, mainly because, as you can probably tell, the TV wouldn't fit above it. It was like just a little bit too, just a little bit too tall. So we had to take off the bomb, which is fine, really, at the end of the day. If it has to be done, it has to be done. Um, I've set up, if you come behind here, um, you'll see that I've set up with a load of, uh, I don't know what you actually call them. I believe they're called command strips or something. Um, these bits just here, I've completely forgotten their name. Um, I've had to put up the receiver for the uh, HDMI switcher just here. That's got the PlayStation, Xbox, Switch all plugged into that, uh, and then goes into the TV. Then you've got the Apple TV just up there, purely because it has to be at least visible to a degree, so it doesn't you know, mess up while we're trying to use it. Um, but what I'm gonna do once they arrive, which is Tuesday, is we're getting loads of uh, cable pins so that everything is a lot more neater. As you can see behind here right now, um, we've got an issue where we don't actually have a bit of wood for it to sit on. So currently there's certain cardboard boxes just so I could have tested it out to see what it's like. I'm going to try and see what, uh, what this uh, Algato will be like once I try and plug it into the switcher to see what it does. Because what I'm currently wondering is whether or not the Algato will plug into the switcher and work out normally as the output and then going to where it needs to go. Or if I will have to always unplug one of those, plug the Algato in, so maybe it might be the Algato sits in situ all the time at its spot and then I just have to swap out HDMI ports. So well, that's what we're going to basically go through now and just double check, test it out before we go today. But yeah, we've done a load of stuff really. Um, Hopefully the room will not look as much of a tip as it does currently, but I can't wait to be honest to have these mounted, which is happening tomorrow. Um, and then what we're considering, well I'm considering is this bit's my setup, um, is putting this ultra wide above these two. Uh, I don't think it would look too bad to be honest. I think it actually looks decent. So we'll give it a go once it's actually uh, got those two mounted. Because if this doesn't look too bad above those two, then I will just automatically just put it up, get the mount for it, put it up. So yeah, hopefully you'll be seeing some videos very soon. And I honestly, one thing that I love about this is how far this actually comes out. So if I wanted to, I could basically record stuff sat at the edge of my bed, just, you know, talking away into the mic if I wanted to. Let's say I want to live stream and chill, uh, which I will eventually be doing. I can then just chill over here on the bed, have it all set up and use the TV instead, if I'm having to sit at the setup. But yeah, that's how it's all going currently.
So, since the last clip, there's been a little bit, you know, a lot more added on. Um, so in terms of the room itself, pretty much everything is done. This is going to be one of the last clips that you see for this video. Next one you'll see just be sat at my desk over here as all of that is now basically set up. Most of the cable management still has some bits to go through. However, when it comes to the cables themselves, that's something that I'm going to work on in the future just because I still need some more cables to sort out and pretty much I just need to sort out what I'm doing with everything. Got the ultra wide just sat down here, which I'm not sure whether or not to put up on top of the monitors or not, but currently I'm going to go without doing it just because I don't want to tilt my head up constantly when I'm using it. And pretty much to be honest, I don't really see the point. I don't need the extra screen real estate anyway. Besides that, uh, obviously TV's all done, that's stuff that you've already seen. And yeah, what I'm going to probably do is once we have uh, the wardrobe, once we set up all of the smart lighting and everything like that, and the room is kind of at its finish point, uh, at least for the foreseeable future, then I may make a little update video to this. So consider this like a part one, and maybe in a couple months time you might see a part two. So yeah. Alrighty, so that's kind of the end of this video. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be looking at probably doing a part two to this in the future. I know that I'm basically making a setup video itself, so if you are mainly here just for the setup itself, you'll see a setup video very soon. I've recorded everything I want to record for it for the time being anyway. But yes, this is the new setup, as you can see behind me. I've pretty much shown you most of it in this video, but in the next video that you see about the setup it is very much focused only on that, as well as just going over things like pricing for everything. But yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. It's a video that I wanted to make anyway whilst I was in the process of doing that as we're not planning on moving from here for probably another three years or so and me and my girlfriend decided to basically look at buying a house possibly. Um, so yeah, may basically make the most of this video and uh, you know may see another one like this in the future. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like if you did and subscribe for future content on this channel. I mainly upload gaming content but I also upload tech videos, self-development videos, that sort of thing. So yeah, if that's something you're interested in, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Have a good one.